Hi, my name is Christian Smaga, and I am a specialist software engineer at Qt and part of the Squish team. I'd like to share some exciting news with you. Squish is joining the AI world. Today, I will share some insights with you on the new AI assistant coming to Squish. Starting from version 9.1, the Squish ID now supports our brand new AI Assistant extension. This means you can now tap into the power of your favorite LLM right inside your test environment. Whether you're digging into a test failure, troubleshooting a tricky behavior, or simply looking for ways to improve your test code, Squish AI Assistant is here to help. We are thrilled about this new chapter and we can't wait to show you what it can do. Let's jump right in and take a look at the Squish AI Assistant in action. We are now in the Squish IDE. Once the extension is installed, the Squish AI Assistant will greet you from the right side, offering quick actions such as help with setup configuration or guidance for common use cases. My Squish ID has a test suite already open. Let's run the first test case. It looks like we've stumbled upon a failure. Let's inspect the test results view. There's a script error pointing to an issue with the continue text field object. Let's see how the AI Assistant can help us investigate this. To interact with the AI Assistant, we can use the prompt from selection button in case we want to review our prompt before sending it, or we can use the right-click context menu entry. I'll go with the context menu this time. The AI Assistant provided an explanation for this failure and suggested a possible fix. In this case, it spotted a wrong object name. I should have used continue text instead. This looks like a copy-paste mistake from another test case. Let's fix that and run the test again. Great, the test passes now. Let's move on to another test case. This code isn't ideal. Let's see how the AI Assistant can help us improve it. Let's select the portion we want to refine and use the Prompt from Selection button this time. Our prompt hasn't been sent yet. The AI Assistant gives us a chance to click on Show Prompt to review it first. This lets us to add more context or simply go with the default suggestion. I'm happy with the default, so I'll just press the Send button. The AI Assistant provided some useful suggestions to make our code more maintainable including a code snippet we can use. To insert the suggested snippet into our editor, we can use the Insert Snippet button in the toolbar. The new code will be appended at the bottom of the editor, so let's remove the old function. And here we go, our code looks much better now. Troubleshooting squish runner or server logs can sometimes be challenging. Let's see what happens when I try to record a new test case for this test suite. Looks like something went wrong. The error message suggests checking the runner server log view. Sounds like a job for the AI assistant. From the runner server log view, let's select the log messages we want to investigate and ask the AI assistant for help us using the context menu entry. The AI Assistant provided a detailed breakdown of the issue and identified a potential mismatch between the Qt versions used in the Squish tools and AUT builds. It hit the mark right away and pointed us in the right direction. That was our quick look at the Squish AI Assistant. As we have seen, it helps you to inspect test failures, improved code and analyze test logs, making your testing faster and easier. We are dedicated to improve our AI assistant even further in the future, so your feedback will shape what comes next. So make sure to give it a try and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.